Now, for our last video for today, I want to spend a little time dealing with the minor pentatonic scale and the blue scale. I like to couple these two scales together because they're really just one note apart. And um, I want to use this as the closing tool that you can use because in a song like this, it doesn't have a bluesy feel. It doesn't have a minor feel. Um, like something like Higher Ground. Or maybe something like Superstitious. Stuff like that has more of a, a bluesy feel where this, these scales would work way better. But when it comes to smooth jazz and gospel, you can still throw bluesy licks in in something like this just to add a little different color. And it's, but you, you tend to not want to use it too much if it's not a bluesy sounding thing because it kind of you can kind of overdo it. So this is going to be a short video. So I want to make sure that I at least give the tool to you. And then I'm going to give you an example of how you could use it in something like this. So you can add it to all the other things that I gave you. And you can come up with ways to, to improvise in a nice way. In the key of C, I'm not going to call out numbers right now. But I'm just going to give it to you in the key of C. You have C. You have E flat. F. G, B flat, so that's your minor pentatonic scale. It works a lot like the major pentatonic scale, meaning that you can play it around and it's, it gets very musical. So like if I start on the first note, second mode, third, you see what I'm saying with a little bit of, a little bit of note bending and stuff. And if I, re if I resolve on that, on that one, Um, and on this scale right now, I would I would tell you to resolve on the one a lot um, because uh, I don't want to get into it too deep since we don't have a bluesy type song. But you can move this around a lot and get a gospel, super gospel, super bluesy feel out of it. So I'm just going to use the major pentatonic right now just to show you how it can sound. So all that was major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. It can give you that sound. Now, for those of you who've been waiting patiently on the on the um on the B flat instruments for for um soprano and tenor, you got F, A flat, B flat, C, and then F, E flat, and then F. Let me demonstrate that for you again. And again, you can move that around too. So that's what makes it special. It's like that major pentatonic. For many years, I didn't know anything but major pentatonic and major scale. And then when things got bluesy, I knew this. So I would use this. I would use the scale. And so um, I would also use the one note difference. So the one note difference is this in the key of C. So we get to that. We get to that, we, we go C, E flat, F, then we throw an F sharp in there. 
So if G is our five, I guess you could say it's a flat five in there. Um, that's how you could you could describe it. The formula would be um, so you got C, and instead of having E, we go we go down a half step to E flat. So that's like a flat third, and then. We got our one, two, three, four, our fourth note, which is F in the key of C. And then we got that flat five with the F sharp. And then we go to the five. And then we have a flat at seventh. So that means B now becomes B flat. So you want to know a way to kind of find this outside of the sound. You got to think about all those places where it gets flat. So E becomes E flat. You get, after you play F, G becomes G flat or F sharp. And B becomes B flat. That's kind of what goes on in C. And again, in the key of F, you got F, A flat, B flat, to B. That's where your note changes. And this is another reason why I told you, like, sometimes using the different fingering for B-flat, it can work good. See how I can do that? If I had to do that fingering, it'd be hard. If I had to try to do that other B-flat finger, it'd be very hard. But being able to slide my, my hand down right here. It's easy to get that bluesy scale in. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and try to shorten the video up just a little bit because this is something that you're not going to use a lot, but I just wanted you to have this as one more tool in the tool shed, in the toolbox to use when imp improvising and experimenting. So I'm going to play around, and then I'm going to find a way to go bluesy. I'm going to find a way to put that minor pentatonic in. And this is just going just to be an example. I want, this is something I want you to hear. I want you to focus on playing the scale, learning the scale, knowing it. Because in the next course, we'll spend more time with using it in a better setting. But in this setting, we just want to make sure that you know about it and you know how to throw it in every now and then, you know? So that's why I don't want to make this video very long. Okay, so here we go. So you can see, I, I played it many more times than I want to in order for you to hear how you could still create a certain level of dissonance, a, a certain level of tension in your solo because that sound doesn't quite fit this sound. But when you play in all these other things that we're doing and you add that to it, it just creates, oh, that's a different sound. I like that. So now... I'm just going to try to do a few of the things that we've learned today in this course and, and that and um, just as a demonstration of how can you put all these things together. And again, I'm, I'm not looking for you to play it. I'm looking for you to see how it works, grab the concept and then be able to take it to the next level on your own as you experiment and as you grow in improvisation. All right, here we go.
Think about how you could use all those things in a very simple way and make something very tasteful and something that people could really appreciate and that you could be proud to say, I did that. But that's what's going to happen to you. But only if you put in the work. If you don't put in the work, you're not going to see the results that, that I've laid out for you so easily. So I know some of these things were, uh, were a lot to swallow. Take your time. Take your time. Everything is divided up. Take your time. I'm going to say it again. Take your time. Playing like me, playing like other people doesn't happen overnight. I've been playing for almost 30 years now. For almost 30 years. Um, did it take me 30 years to play like this? Not really, but I've learned more and more things over the years that I've added to my playing that you're just not going to learn overnight. Build your foundation. This is the best thing I can tell you. Two things. Two things that will help you. Build a great foundation by getting these tools under your belt and an understanding of these things and memorize them. Number one, do that. And it's going to take practice to do that. So if you do that, you're going to set yourself up for that lift off into what we've been really going on to messing with today. And then the other thing is take your time and play slow ideas. Think about what you're doing. And as you make them neat, and you kind of make you you're, you're making certain statements that you know that, that are working for you. Then sometimes work on changing the rhythm of it or changing the speed. Don't get ahead of your regular development. Crawl before you walk, walk for a while and then run. That's how it works. And then you, you'll be able to run properly. You'll be able to really do a whole lot more stuff. So I hope this this course was a blessing to you. It was a blessing to me to be able to do for you. And I'm just looking forward to, to the good feedback and, um, and reports and videos of you doing some of these things and saying, hey, I got it. This is making sense. That will really bless me to see to see results of that and um, be able to talk with you. Um, remember, my website is DarylMurrow.com. You can contact me through that, that way. Um, um, my, my links are up there. You can contact me on social media. Hit me up. I'll be glad to hear from you. So I hope this course blessed you. And let's get ready for the next course. The next four course, we're going to go in on some more advanced things. We're going to have some fun. Peace.